All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostle, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, citation to Allah, Akim Dunam, pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, I don't want to get to this uh, video. Esau, time is your enemy, okay? Time is to our glory, all right? When this all boils down, you know, at the end of the year, day, and week, as the scriptures say, 2 Ezra 6 and 9, you know, our world is going to begin, okay? But Esau, time is your enemy, all right? <laughs> you, you ain't got nothing, man. You, you, the only thing that you could expect is to get a hard thousand years of some good old slavery, all right? Getting your ass bust, getting your head bust, going through that rigorous, you know, uh, uh, work that you're going to have to go through. Because remember, you're going to have to pay for, for, for your sins, all right? Basically, you're going to have to pay for all that wickedness. Not since Lucky, you're gonna have to pay for all the wickedness that you have done to us, all right? For all those years, and yeah, if it's a if it's a list of sins, you you went above and beyond, as the scriptures tell us. So you're gonna have to pay for all your wicked doings, man, for all the wickedness that you've done against us, okay? And and you know, whatever else against the animals, against the environment, whatever else, man. You're going to have to pay for all of that. And time is not your friend. Time is your enemy. Okay? So let's get into this real quick. Let me go into Job chapter 9 and, and uh, 12 here. If he snatches someone in death, who can stop him? Who dares? Who dares in the NLT? Who dares to ask, what are you doing? Okay? So there is no power. There is no counselor. There's no lawyer you can go to to, you know, argue a decision that Yahweh Bashim Shai has made. There's no counselors, no power, no nothing. Okay, once he's made that decision, that's it. Okay. Whatever makes him pleased, that's it. So there's nobody here in this world that could come up and say, hey, what are you doing? Well, how could you do this? You know? No. Just like here, Romans 9 and 20. Nay, nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed, shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made why hast thou made me thus? So there's no, you know, there's no um, there's nothing you can do. All you can do is play the course that you've been set for, okay? All you can do is act out the role that the Lord has given you, all right? Let me go into something real quick. Oh, no, wait. Second Ezra. Fuck yeah. Second Ezra. Six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth okay so right now we in you know esau's time period here okay, his kingdom right now and the lord has scheduled this kingdom to go down okay to be you know it's on the deconstruction list all right and the world that's going to follow after is our world okay a world without end so esau time is not you know your friend all right, time is actually against you. For uh, these other kingdoms too, time was in their friend. You know, the Lord scheduled them to rise up, and then for them to go down. Isaiah chapter forty-five and verse uh, seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So our world is going to have no end, but yours has set like i said to be destroyed and like i said in the beginning all the wickedness that you have done all these wicked acts you've done against us even against those heathen ass people you know 
um, against the animals, against the, the the whole planet. Okay, every every everywhere you go and everything you touch, it goes to shit. Okay, he is as hell. Never 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 satisfied with blood. You know what I mean? This, 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 oh man, you you one creature that gotta go, man. Sirach chapter ten and verse eight. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And we're the other people that it's gonna be translated to. Okay, all your gold, everything that you got. You know, run them jewels fast, right? Everything that you got is gonna be translated. And you didn't rule right. You 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 know went across the world shedding blood, innocent blood, and quick. You didn't do it in in you know no blink of an eye. What would they what would Cristobal uh, Colomb say when he came here? He said he couldn't even put down his his sword for an hour, man. If I'm not mistaken, that much killing he was doing. So you know you got no. Um, Excuse, okay. Yup, that's why the Lord said that He is prescribed, and you use the major. You're the major uh, problem in this world, you saw. Job chapter twenty and verse thirty, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. That's for you, Esau, Edom. That's why I said, you know, Esau, time is your enemy, okay? Because you're reserved for destruction, and then on top of that too. When the kingdom is established, and after that thousand years, you're going to be rounded up. Thus saith the Hawa Bashim Yahushai, Obadiah. We're going to round you up and burn your ass up. It's going to be a big bonfire. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay? And you're just, you know, you're just a ball of confusion, man. A ball of wickedness. Okay, uh, uh, everlasting blot that the Lord is going to have to burn out. A stench, like a nasty stench in your nose, you know. And all the all these kingdoms are, are all these uh, nations are starting to, you know, wake up from that juice that they drank. You know, at the after party that they had. And they're like, what happened? You know, they're watching the video and, they, you know, and they're looking at you. And they're saying, ah, oh, this this is the bad guy. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. Yahweh have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Like I said, you were reserved for that day. And what's that day? That's that day that those, you know, nukes go flying, all right? And then on top of that, you're going to have your troops gathered in the uh, um the valley of decision man and guess what's gonna happen there you're gonna get the wapo zapo yahweh shim yahushai i mean yahweh shai is gonna tear a lot of you edomites asunder man so esau once again time is not your friend eh time is your <laughs> time is your enemy all right you had a good run son you know, but hey, that that's that's what you get. Yep, let's start from fourteen. Job chapter eighteen and fourteen. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. <laughs> Another title for Yahusha, the King of Terrors. <laughs> it shall it shall dwell in his tabernacle, because it is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his his habitation his roots shall be dried up beneath beneath and above shall his branch be cut off his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street he shall be driven from light he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling. Okay? So, you're going to get taken out of that powerful position that you're in. Okay? 
Time, once again, time is not your friend. Okay? You're going to be the lowest. You're going to, your remembrance, just like it says in Job, what is it, uh, you know, knowest, uh, Job 20 and 4, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reacheth on to the clouds, that's him with his fatness of the earth, you know, all the riches that he got going into the elites, right? Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision in the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place, neither shall his place any more behold him. So going back into uh, what we're speaking about here. His remembrance shall perish. Yeah, the eye that saw him no more. He ain't going to be in that power position no more. He's going to be taken out. Okay? And son and nephew, no, you ain't going to, you know. And how come it doesn't say uh, daughter? <laughs> son and nephew, right? The ones who carry on the, the, the bloodline, right? You gonna you guys going to be low. You guys going to be out of that power position. You will not rise back to that power position anymore. Okay? Thus saith the Ba Shimmy Shai. So once again, like I said, time is not your friend, Esau. Time is not your damn friend. Okay? This is it Joel 319? Joel 319. Um, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Right. Remember, against the violence of the children of Judah. The Lord don't, like, you think, like, you could do all this wicked, wicked things to us and just, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing. You think you could do all this wicked shit to us? Put it on the books. Be prideful and boastful about it. Rub it in our face. And then, in this time of the future, now you want to come back and say, everybody equal ground, shake hands, that was the past. Those people are probably burning in hell for their, you know, your excuse, burning in hell for their uh, atrocities. But no, that's not what the Lord says. The Lord said that I'm going to judge every single one of you. All you got, all of you, okay, God get your judgment, man. And he also said that, hey, Job chapter 4 and 7, whoever perish being innocent, innocent. Right? Whoever perish being innocent. And you are your forefathers coming back in their stead. So you 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 got you gotta get punishment. Okay? And when the nukes fly and people die, <laughs> you gonna be you gonna be there. Alright? You're gonna have to uh taste of that. All right. But promises are set on to us, us Israelites. And those promises show that, you know, when the when the kingdom is translated. That we're going to be the ones, you know, um, in that high power position, that high seat. And nothing ever again in the world will ever try to mount up against us will ever try to, uh, you know, come against us. We're going to be the absolute, hands down, superpower of this world and beyond forever. Okay. So this, you could imagine this is why the elites are coming at us in the way that they're coming at us. Okay. Because they know what's promised to us. And like I said, once again, they know time ain't their friend. Time is their enemy. So this is why they always work with something called gradualism. Esau could snap his hand and have, you know, you got to take this, you, you got to take the MOTB, simple and plain. But next week, not even next week, he, he could, the whole world right now, he could say, hey, that's it, everybody take the MOTB or that's it, head chopping. You know, but he's a decisive, crafty, 
sneaky, sly individual. He wants to pull these things off, right? And then whole, whole, make it look like he's the uh, good guy. You know what I mean? And we're the bad guys, right? Revelation chapter 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. But be the be, but be uh, Salakia, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And this is what we're seeking after. You know, that top tier, that, you know, 144. Okay. This is something that's promised unto Israelites. Okay. Not even just all Israelites, the 144. But all of Israel shall be saved, as it tells you. Okay. Let me go to that again. Romans 11. Uh, yeah, Romans 11, 26. So all Israel is going to take part and taste in, you know, the kingdom. Let me get here, Revelation. Uh, what the hell? Revelation 3 and 10. Okay. Let's go to here. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. And wait, let me go back to here, actually. Just bring that up, yo. Um, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. When Esau eat him, we'll tie this up with verse 3. When Esau eat him, comes down upon the whole world, trying to push that very same MLTB. We're going to be tried, man. We're going to be tempted. That's the big, that's one of the big uh, tests right there, man. If you take that badge of servitude, you know, and Esau knows this. Esau is going to try you with death. He's going to try your family with death. You know what I mean? All sorts of, all sorts of wicked, wickedness he's going to put out, pull out of his wicked bag, you know. But Yahweh Shem Yashai said what? Stand ten toes down, don't worry, and I'm going to give you a crown of life, man. Okay? That's when it's really, you know, the separation, as they say, uh, we'll separate the men from the boys, right? That's when it's, you know, it's really going to be seen. Right? Uh, verse, uh, Revelation 3 and 10, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Let me say that again. Because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, when the MOTB, like I said, comes down the pipe, you know, a lot of Israelites talking about you could take that and pull it out at the last minute. I wouldn't try that. I wouldn't try that at all, man. Because the verse starts off saying, "Because thou has kept the word of, my, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth." Okay. So. This is a major event that's going to take place over the whole world, okay? The whole world. And the only individuals that are going to be saved is the 144, because they're not going to take this thing, you know? And they have the 100% truth. Now, you got some people in the Bible, Bible bel belters or whatever, they're not going to take it e either. You got some of these people called the truthers. They're not going to take it either. Okay. You have some people in the world that's going to reject it. Yes. But do they have the truth, the 100% truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? Were they out there pushing this word? No. Right. 
So they're going to get caught up in whatever they're going to get caught up in. But the 144, they're going to be saved. You understand? Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay? Because at the end of your day and week, <coughs> that's what we're looking for. Being of that number. Okay? Hoping. Hopeful elect. That's why we always say that. But like I said, time is not on your hand, Esau, Edom. Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. All Israel shall be saved. All Israel shall be saved. And how is that going to happen? Through the elect, through the loins of the elect. Repopulation, as they say. And our seed is... Uh, you're not going to be able to fuck with us, man. Like I said, we're going to be that ultimate power. It tells you in um, is that Isaiah chapter 13. That the young suckling child shall play on the, the, the den of the asp and the cockatrice. Poisonous snakes, venomous snakes. And that's for us. That's not for the rest of the world. That's only for Israel. Okay? So eventually, you know, all of Israel is going to be saved. But the 144, in this time around, they're the ones that are going to be pulled out of this melee. And like I said, you got some Bible belters and even got some of the uh, two-thirds that won't take this, but they're still going to catch hell because they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing, okay? Which is praising Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And let me get that real quick. Yo. Second Ezra 2 and 35. Um, be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. Okay. So what's coming for us is something, as it says in Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17, I'm end out. World without end, man. World without end. Okay. You saw your 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 system has an end. Our world has no end. It's forever. You know? And it's hard to grasp that. You know, sometimes it's hard to grasp that because you're like forever. You know, forever, ever. <laughs> you know? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Going back into Romans 11 and 26, right? And how are they going to be saved through our loins, through repopulation, regeneration, okay? But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. We're without end, okay? <laughs> and the Lord has created that for us. And so it's a no wonder that people like Esau, Edom, and these other nations are pissed off. You know, starting with the elites, it's a no wonder they're fucking pissed off because they know time is not their friend, man. Time's their enemy, you know, and time is to our glory because in the end, what's going to happen? We're going to be on top. And at the end of the year, day and week, even when the kingdom is established a thousand years after you saw Edom, you still got an, uh, you still got a, a time frame on your head, man. You still got a number on your head. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you, the Lord's not done with you yet, okay? That's a double whammo zammo, man. The Lord ain't done with you yet, Esau, Edom. Wow, you're going to get fucked up here. In the kingdom, you're going to get fucked up for a thousand years. And then after the thousand years, we're going to burn you up. Time is definitely not your friend, Esau, Edom. <laughs> you know? But with that, hey, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and great millstone that rule well. Peace, citation to all the Akim, doing and pushing his word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified. Lord willing, to the next time.